Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is second practice problem on relations topic. And this is second practice problem in relations topic and we'll try to understand what is the given question. Show that the relation R in the set A. R is a relation on this set A. It is defined as R equal to set which contains ordered pairs 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 we need to show that this relation is symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive we know that in this chapter relation is defined on what set is important relation is defined on what set r is a relation on set a what is set a set a is 1 2 3 okay and how the relation r is given r is given as ordered pair 1 comma 2 and ordered pair 2 comma 1 actually it is the simplest relation now we need to check that is this relation is reflexive symmetric trans 2 now we will check that okay how to check the reflexive property reflexive property to understand reflexive property, you must know the definition of reflexive property. What is reflexive property? For every x in set A, for every, this, this is important, for every x in set A implies ordered pair x comma x is there in the relation. Then we say that the relation R is reflexive. Now you take an element 1 in set A. You take an element 1 in set A. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation? Order pair 1 comma 1 is not there in this relation. So we say that R is not reflexive. So how we will write for 1 belongs to set A. You take 1 in set A. Okay. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in the relation. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is not there in this relation. So we say that R is not reflexive. The given relation is not reflexive. Now how to check? Symmetric property. Symmetric property. Okay. To you must know the definition of symmetric relation to check whether the given relation is symmetric or not. What is symmetric relation? For every order pair which is there in R implies for every order pair A comma B belongs to R, the ordered pair B comma A is also there in the relation then we say that that relation is symmetric relation. Now you observe the relation. First you take one ordered pair. You take one ordered pair. Order pair 1 comma 2 you take. Ordered pair 2 comma 1 is there in this relation? Of course it is there. Order pair 2 comma 1 is there. Now you take the second ordered pair. Ordered pair 2 comma 1. If you take order pair 2 comma 1, order pair 1 comma 2 is there? Obviously yes. So what happened here for every order pair a comma b belongs to r implies order pair b comma a also belongs to r. Here there is a small technique. You cannot write that for 1 comma 2 belongs to r implies 2 comma 1 also belongs to r. That's why this relation is symmetric. Whenever it is symmetric you have to generalize the things. As it is the simple relation we can write but later you will face so many difficult if you are habited to write like that. What I want to say when it is symmetric you generalize while writing the solution. That means you observe here for every order pair a comma b in the relation implies ordered pair b comma a is also there in the relation. That's why we say that this relation R is symmetric. The given relation R is a symmetric relation. Okay. Now we need to check transitive property. Transitive property. Transitive. How to check the transitive property? What is transitive property? See, first of all, we should identify a pair of ordered pairs which are of the form a comma b and b comma c you have to identify a pair of order pairs which are of the form a comma b and b comma c that means first one ends with b and second one starts with b you have to identify such ordered pair in the relation first then we will check the ordered pair a comma c is there in the relation or not okay so first you take an order pair 1 comma 2 
uh, it ends with 2 you observe that is there any other order pair which starts with 2 yes immediately you see yes that means we identified a pair of ordered pairs in the relation which are in the form of a comma b and b comma c so we need to check for a comma c what is a comma c here a comma c is ordered pair 1 comma 1 ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation it is not there so we say that this relation is not transitive how to write the solution for this see first of all we must choose an ordered pair which is in the form of a comma b and b comma c 2 comma 1 see you have to observe there is in these two ordered pairs first one ends with 2 second one starts with 2 that means we identified an order pair which is of the form a comma b and b comma c now you have to check order pair a comma c is there in this relation or not order pair a comma c a comma c means ordered pair 1 comma 1 ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in the given relation it's not there so what we say we say that the relation r is not transitive the relation r is not transitive therefore the given relation is symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive the same conclusion you can write here therefore r is symmetric r is symmetric but but neither reflexive neither reflexive nor transitive neither reflexive nor transitive i hope you understand this class if you practice another two three problems you will get more clarity how to check a given relation is reflexive relation or symmetric relation or transitive relation if you like this video please press like button and if you have any doubt you can comment in comment session don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get more updates thank you